back with another GSC Invitational game. We have Keenix on top and Conflict on bottom. Uh, this is Loser's Bracket Round 2. Let's get into this. Double Cloys. Uh, we might see Miracle Berry from one of them. We might see Toxics. Uh, Hidden Power, Electrics. We will probably, we'll probably prop be seeing Spikes first. to Gengar on a potential toxic boom surf maybe hate and power electric Gengar is an initial switch to cloister is not bad at all uh, would not love ice beam or surf and then uh, Zapdos just coming in to take a surf or toxic and throw the koi out uh, Gengar can it, if it's hypnosis it's probably not hypnosis in the Zapdos which is the default sleep counter um it my ice punch here, I could just switch switch because it does not love Zapdos' thunder. Okay. Um so he does go for the in the zap. Which is oddsy, but like still a sleeping Zapdos is better than a waked awoken Zapdos. Especially if it's like it also could just be a non-sleep talk, which we do not see here. Missing Thunder is rather unfortunate. It does a lot of damage. Uh, I suppose it lacks. Uh, switches out in here to Q. Black just goes for a curve. Uh, Koi Boom will do about 50 to 60 here. Clamp, do we see Screech? You're just barely out of range for the next double. Oh, you were not uh, left of this. So then it's probably a Miracle Berry one. Uh, Clamp Screech is uh, used to, to clamp a Cursing Snorlax, but the fence switching and use Screech um, to prevent their defense drops from uh, preventing your explosion KO and then you boom. The drawback is you don't get Surf, so sometimes you see Clamp Surf, but then it kind of does flail into uh, this relax. Since it's missing an item, it's probably Miracle Berry. Uh, which makes sense because it's in the lead slot, so maybe you spike up on Jinx. Thunderbolts into uh, Steelix. Interesting, Thunderbolt um, is not. Ooh! <gasps> this is Protect Zapdos! Uh, I really like Protect Zapdos. So, basically, it's. Often, it's in one of the offensive non-rest Zapdoses, but it still wants uh, to... So if you ever play with Magnus Zapdos, you'll find that it really, really noticed the lack of lefties. And what Protect does is it gives you a little bit more insurance against booms that are aimed at you and things. And then you also get uh, a little bit better at uh, just taking a couple extra hits. Because the amount of lefties that you gain is rather significant. Because Zapdos can just switch in, get lefties, because it uh, hovers above spikes, and protect really amplifies that. Bind from Steelix. It's not something I've ever seen, but it's going to be uh, similar to the Cloister, where it just you are prevented from switching and then it can remove targeted removal. Uh, through an explosion drain, and he just goes for the boom. Uh, Confluent staying in there is maybe a little interesting, and maybe not, like, depends. If he really wants the Steelix out of the way, you can just stay in an HP, uh, ice or water it, and then it'll, the Steelix will eventually go to the boom. Um, you could also be reading for, like, another bind, uh, and also switching game guardian on EQ. But regardless, uh, his zap got boomed. It's now a 4 5. Interesting. So, switching Starmie out of Gengar. Sorry about that ad. Uh, means that you are likely not psychic. Like, psychic, you can stay in and just slam it. And that you want this Starmie to do, like, you don't want to take the initial damage on it. Which, Stami does not look half bad here if it's psychic. You can also be preserving it. 
Uh, yeah, this is EQ Lax, especially if you got a really good response in EQ Lax, you need to take additional damage on your Starmie. Just double edges into closer. We could have seen a curse there if he is curse. Can you see one now? No. Uh, he's within not range of two serves. Can you see a boom? Can you see rest? So it gets to that person on the rest of lax. Is this just gonna be like a sleep talk lax? Uh, like sleep talked up. That works. Yeah. Probably not curse in the last move. Maybe, I think it's just uh, double edge rest sleep talk EQ. And he just booms, and that crit matters. Mm -hmm. Well, like, Lax would be left really, really low, and uh, you need to burn two sleep turns. But it'd still be a lot. I understand now. So, the reason why he didn't want to stay in uh, is because he's on against the Gengar, is because he's not a recover Starmie. He's this uh, subset, maybe with Night. Oh, he's in a recover Starmie. That's interesting. So he's like sub nightmare is the like initial assumption, but substitute recover maybe it's uh, spin surf. So you don't do much against Gengar, but uh, sub star you can do a lot of things. It murders Exeggutor because Mega Dr uh, Giga Drain fails against the sub. He just uh, subbing for Thunder. Yes. Interesting. I could just be overanalyzing the Gengar and Starmie thing, because you have a wonderful response to Gengar in Sleep Talk EQ Lax is the assumption here. He's just hidden all of these fun thunders. You can sub once more after this, and he finally misses. So that 11 recover, misses again. He can safely spin a surf here. He might not have sin, uh, spin, it could just be, uh, like, Nightmare as the last move. Yeah, we're just gonna see subs fishing for the Thunder Misses. Waters, you know, it's always interesting, the Waters that try and abuse, uh, Thunder's accuracy, like, kinda cool. And then Vaporeon makes you wish for Thunderbolt a lot of the time. So, uh, yeah, the Starmie can't really touch the VAP, so he goes to Gengar to presumably Hypnosis it. Hypnosis, or Thunderbolt, or D-Bond, or Boom it. Probably Hypnosis. This could just be Sleep Talk. Do we see Sleep Talk this turn? No, we don't. Could be the Acid Armor set. Um, it is Thunderbolt, not Thunder. Yeah, so it is Sleep Talk. Which, since he sleep talked rest, uh, Gengar comes down the other two moms. It can sleep them now. It's really good looking up. These surfs are gonna really hurt. But he needs to sleep talk rest or sleep talk surf crit. Which he does not get. Does he try and preserve the map? Yes, he does. Do we see, uh, Thunderbolt is just completely safe, especially if you have boom last? Do we see a boom on lax? Yeah, we do. Uh, that's kind of easy to read here, it, and like, you can get, there's not much, like, you get similar value, like, the zap dust won't go down, but, uh, it'll be really low if you just ice punch here, and then ice punch scouts for Snorlax and Vappy Switch, but, uh, so maybe a little bit of a hasty boom, which gets taken advantage of by Keenix. So it's 2-2. Two -two. Starmie on Zap. We're gonna see some more fishing. Here's the thing. Does he go... Vaporeon's in range. But, uh, if the last can't be Vappy, maybe Keenix can sack the Zapdos and then try and rest up Vappy. No, he goes for it. On the Surf? No. Yeah, what am I thinking? You always sub with Conflict here. You sub or switch to... You don't have a normal resistant phaser here. Which is the assumption on what this is going to be. Goal. That's interesting. Uh, Surf won't kill that because it got on the substitute. But what you can do on Conflict's end, on this turn right here, you send in Zarmi here. Zarmi, you're met with Zapdos. Uh, if you send a golem and kill Vappy, 
then you're in a little bit of trouble. Because it just wakes up and either serves to rest and you're forced to boom and then thunder on Starmy stuff. Uh, he is getting rather low on subs. But uh, right here, you could just go to Golem because either he's switching or he's thundering. And if you're going to switch manually into Golem on Bappy, then uh, you may as well get in on a double. Yeah, see? But uh, what this does... Uh, no, well, no, I like that better. Because what this does is... Then this, sorry, I was completely wrong. Uh, because now he's giving himself sleep talk odds. Uh, because Golem just dies to you surf. So you cannot get your Golem in uh, on Vaporeon with two sleep turns burned. It will just click surf on you. So what Conflict does uh, is so he goes to Starmie saying, either I can surf this Vappy and it's going to rest, or I'm going to sell on Zapdos and force him to go to Vaporeon. When he does that, he's clicking rest because he knows he's in range of two surfs. So I'll go to Golem. And if he doesn't sleep talk surf, my boom can get off freely. Does he boom in his app? Uh, yeah, that is the correct one. Like, you just, you don't want to risk sleep talk odds. Your Vaporeon is probably favored to be the Starmie. Probably be the keyword. Depends on the last move. It would be brutal if he was keeping Thunder or Thunderbolt. No, it is Nightmare. At least I got that one call. So, Nightmare is going to really slam this, which I really like that. Uh, now you've given yourself a lot of odds. He has to rest here, and you can rest loop him. Uh, sorry, I'm wrong. Let's take a step back and think. Um, he is pressured to rest soon. Nightmare is going to keep chip, uh, will do about well, 50% every rest cycle. And, um... But since Surf is, does pitiful damage, he can we, uh, go for one or two growths every uh, rest cycle. Yeah. So, conflict these crits. Okay, you are risking a crit now, so you do quick rest. Nightmare, and you just click surf. Maybe you sub? No, no, no. You, uh... Yeah, now you can sub. Because you're not doing too much damage now. So he nightmares trying to catch a rest. And uh, you're not... Are you stalling out surfs is the question. You can just keep subbing. He is getting lefties. Yeah, you're not, you're not recover stalling, uh, 12, 17 surfs. You need a lot of low rolls and you're not getting up. So, uh, really interesting game. Uh, a lot of analysis that it's easy to make a hasty play, or a hasty assumption. Some of which, uh, I made in the, in this analysis, and had to short, in short order correct myself. But, um, yeah, that was a very interesting game from two interesting teams. I like the bind Steelix. That's kind of really cool. So, Keenix 1, Conflict 0, game 2. Zap Slax, uh, standard stuff. Just gonna hit the Lax and hit the Zapdos. Trading damage. Do you see a switch to Cloyster? Phoenix again. After this turn, we see a rest. Okay. See a curse from Lax? No, we just need to keep double edging. Now we see a cloister, and he's just to content to double edge away. Do we see a thunder or a lovely kiss as Aptos? Okay, so. 
to uh, conflict is trying to double switch cloister in on uh, the lax as the or the ground as the response. But no, he gets met with a zap dose. He does zap dose. Uh, Kinex switches in, and his zap dose into conflict zap dose, and gets the favorable matchup. Uh, conflict can be patient here. He doesn't need to risk uh, getting speed topped, but he can, especially once it in this. But no, uh, he gets hit with a 33% chance and die. Uh, well, less than his uh, thunder odds, but that was a risk he could take. They just didn't pay off. It's kind of like hoping uh, it's another buying Steelix. No way. And he catches all the resting lags. No way. He's easily. <sighs> and Steelix is going to curse here, right? Curse you. Okay. So Curse and EQ essentially did the same thing here. They're chipping uh, the lax into range for Steelix's explosion. I like bind a lot. I like bind Elix. It's cool. Oh, and it's not in the curse one. So he doesn't uh he does not need to um boom on this guy. He can just win the 1v1. Unless something like that ha Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're still alive left boom. That's probably hidden power water. So switching into because hidden power ice is not doing enough. But uh hidden power water would absolutely drop you. So either conflict is bluffing it or he actually has hidden power water. It is a reflex zap dose, okay. Um it's still not gonna beat a curse lax easily. Because to Gengar, it will survive with Q with the reflecto. This hypnosis. Okay, I like that. And he scouts for it. That's cool. Um, it does, so that's a kind of a 50 turn. So, Kenix, uh, has the choice to EQ a curse here. If you curse, uh, on Perish Song, which, uh, so Conflict is probably either switching here or Destiny Bonding. Uh, and Kenix knows that. And so he's probably not gonna perish song. So therefore you can curse, not get hit by the destiny bond, and then you are up one curse, like a reflect is burned, you've got mind games to just not lose your lax. Uh now do we see another destiny bond pick our or do we see a perish song? And do we see an EQ a curse from the lax? Perish song on curse. So he does not call it correctly. I called for a second Destiny Bond, and Conflict wins this 50-50, and now he can just spam Destiny Bond to high heaven. He will get this lax dead. Yeah. You, um... Hmm. It's not a huge deal, because your lax is going down either way, but do you spam Double Edge? And then, either say... No, you don't spam double edge because so what this does, if you spam double edge, then either Gengar switches out on its last Parish Song turn, and he knows you're gonna double edge. Uh so he goes to your normal resist, which would slam and then like you don't need to give him KO. Uh you could potentially go for an EQ 50 50 there, but maybe he just goes to Zapdos. But probably not. Or you could take the guaranteed kill on the Gengar right now. Which is what he does. Zapdos in two licks. Out of range, we see a boom, do we see? Hmm. It is hidden power water. Yeah, so if you boom with hidden power water, uh, presuming the previous Zapdos, uh, it, the, the immediate Zapdos in the Steelix was a bluff. But no, there's uh, no, you can play safe. Uh, I keep outlighting all these what if scenarios, that, but uh, just like as a general reminder, there is no need to what if this set and this when you have a safe answer. And Zapdos is not a horrible answer to Zapdos. Especially a T-Bolt Zapdos. Your sleep talk, he's not sleep talk, you're favored. Like, greatly favored in this one we want. A Thunderbolt, a Thunder Para might be pretty bad for this one. But with, reset, with Reflect, it probably has rest. Maybe, it could be Whirlwind in the last slot. 
keeps the puck in rest. That's a hidden power ice crit. Do we see a switch out into... It's hard to go to any ground that's not Steelix here, because you could get hidden power iced, and then he wakes up the next turn and hidden power ices you again. That is a really irritating miss. Uh, you can hidden power ice pretty freely this turn. And he's, that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna get jinx on that, do we see a s no. Yeah, so no need to make unnecessarily risky plays, and it's hard to, there's not too many other hidden power ice switches that you'd have, because you have like your normal resist, and your plus one, uh, but hidden power ice is pretty free to throw out now that, like, lax is gone. But, uh, conflict is yeah, that was jinx. Well, now, we're in the present. Now, um, and let's go back a little bit. So, Jinx, uh, well, mid game Jinx is much, much, much rarer than its uh, lead counterpart. It does the same stuff, it can be sub, nightmare, thief, uh, probably going to have lovely kiss, lovely kiss, and a nice move like the guaranteed self this. Uh, Zapdos Thunder does not kill Jinx, but like, an Ice Beam will kill the Zapdos. Do we see a cl cl uh, switch to Cloyster? Cloyster is a decent answer to uh, Jinx, unless it's got Psychic. Yeah, it gets Jinx in on Hidden Power. So, Vappy is uh, pretty decent. It's not the best Jinx answer, it doesn't take a bit from Psychic. Uh, a nightmare does annoy it, but it's a good sleep talker for absorbing Jinx. Much, much better than Zapdos is. Lovely Kiss Miss, Surf, do we see another Lovely Kiss? Do we see Lovely Kiss on a sleep talk? No, just went for another Surf for both. He nightmares. So it is, uh, the set that it's kind of walled out by Waters. He can just, uh, so, yeah, no need to sleep there, because you're taking, uh, sleep talk, you're taking a lot of extra nightmare chip, but as I said earlier, uh, this set gets pretty much walled by, like, this nightmare set can get walled by Cloyster, because it often drops Psychic. It's not gonna have Thief, because it's the one that has lefties. But, uh, that's interesting that he goes for Ice Beam. So if Cloyster would take a Psychic here, it does threaten Boom. It, it just surfs, yeah. Um, you could have... Surf would not take out Zap. He goes to Golem predicting the Boom. That just probably ends it for you. Oh, and he stays in reading it too. Yeah, you can kind of sack your... Um, your... Cloyster here to get either your last or your Zapdos in for free, and your Zapdos is probably winning the 1v1, and then it can, if it thunders, jinx it to dead. Gar, oh yeah, then if you just get Gar in for free, it can uh, close out the game, like it can just ice punch Zap and boom. Interesting teams. Uh, I like mid game jinx a lot, it probably did not have Psychic, which is unfortunate in this matchup. Um, Bind Licks is really cool. I like that he brought it two games in a row. Yeah. It's probably, like, I think Bind Licks is maybe one, like, we've been seeing a lot of newer, not newer, but, like, the emergence of these, uh, electric lures, like Counter Nido King, and now Bind Licks, which, uh, because the <laughs> For a lot of, like, uh, all the electrics, especially Zapdos, have a habit of staying in on their counters, because a lot of their counters just run EQ or don't hit them very hard, like Needle King. Uh, so they're just fine to stay in hidden power a couple times. And they're only threatened out by Boom. Uh, and these sets, like the Bind Licks, which 
would be interesting if it has a uh, rock slide. But it might just be curse boom with the last moves. Um, and the uh, counter Nido King are like, no, we're gonna punish you for staying in, and we're gonna abuse it with like a Vaporeon, which is really scary once the electrics are gone. So, really nice game from Conflict and Kenix. Kenix uh, wins. Conflict, I believe, is eliminated from the tournament. And Kenix moves on in his loser bracket run. <laughs>